Hey, this is Matt. Once again, what about to end of the video? There's another paid request this time for Charles Turner. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or topics, reactions, commentaries, re reviews, randomness, lists, whatever it may be, feel free to send me the directly to my PayPal or draw my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for The Basement from 2018. And I had never heard of this film. And I can see why after watching the film. If you want to see a guy get tortured for 80 minutes in a basement while this other guy thinks he's in the movie Split, doing all these auditions, playing uh, half a dozen characters, until at the end of the film, spoilers, he just, the, the guy being tortured gets his head blowtorched off with some bad CG on the blowtorch because you don't want to burn the guy for real. <clears throat> and a twist that you see coming I guess it should be your movie I mean a guy goes to get champagne for his girlfriend he gets captured <coughs> and then the guy torches the other guy in the basement they say he's got 12 personalities well we see What this seems like is a guy going, and yeah, that's the neighbors mowing. You know what? That's actually fine because that's more exciting than this movie. Like, take the copy of this movie, just mow the fuck over. <laughs> what I was saying, this is like the the bad guy said, "Listen, director, please." Remember back in the day when they have movies, they talked with you know of an actor, and then actor has all of these pictures. This would be looking like a firefighter. This would be looking like a doctor. It's like these are photos, like uh, Eddie Murphy had that in Showtime and other stuff. Where look, this is me as a doctor. This would be as a businessman. This would be with glasses. It's like no, we could we could figure that out on our own. No, no, no. This is me looking like all these outfits and look how I look and this is what it like the old testament of actors that would do that and you would that would be featured in movies and it'd be like a rolling of the eyes with those type of characters. This like, hey, please, let me showcase what I can do. So and one bit, um a clown that's crazy, and then I'm a cop. And then I'm a detective, and I'm going to talk to you, but it's like a role play, like, uh, you're me, so me being a bad guy, I'm inflicting it onto you, so I'm the cop going after a killer, and I'm the detective talking to you, I'm also a doctor, I'm also a lawyer, I'm also a woman, and try and be this acting gallery for this guy <clears throat> that honestly wasn't that impressive. Like he's snapshot audition tape. And then once in a while, a little bit of torture. It's a, it's a torture movie. It's torture porn. A little bit of knocked in the teeth with the butt of a gun, gets a piece of a tooth all. Tooth out. As a doctor, well, there's one bit where he cuts the guy's fingers off. There's a bit as a doctor sewing it, giving more torture. Why is this happening? Well, the guy, the bad guy keeps talking about in his different personas how he had a sister. And he had a sister that was abusive. And his story of abuse of father as well. And him and the sister are separated. And he just found his sister a month ago. Now here's the other thing. We only see like four or five characters in the movie. We see a girl at the beginning that gets killed. Off screen. We see a guy, our lead. We see his girlfriend. We see the bad guy and one bit like a random, like, it's a pizza delivery guy. That's all the people you see. Maybe like a clerk at the store. 
Does it go back to the girlfriend, which I guess she was on the TV show The OC, but uh, I don't know how because she can't ask for shit, or at least not based on this. She's just a blank, bland performance. And see, while this girlfriend's not doing much, she doesn't really seem to care about her boyfriend, and she's not really that worried, and she could be calling the cops, she could be going to the cops, she could be doing this. Why, well, I mean, she makes like a half phone call and goes to a store, and like the bare minimum, as I, like, you get the idea that the husband's cheating on her. So, like, okay. One of the few people we have that's female is a woman. Her husband is cheating on her. And we find out that the husband is cheating on her very early on. Because when the husband comes out of the store, give her the champagne, he has his phone out, and there's messages from another woman. So right here, we have a guy who's cheating on his woman. So he's not really the most sympathetic guy. Not saying he deserves this fate, but he's not really the most sympathetic guy. And then, it keeps coming back to this woman again and again and again. And then, actually there's another person, the woman that is cheating on her her boyfriend. She comes by and sees that other woman from the OC. I know I'm confusing people. The two ladies are talking and the one's like, man, if I found out who's cheating, uh, I would run them over. Well, you get divorced. Yeah, but no, I like my idea more. I would run them over. I would do the, like, violent. I mean, and the bad guy's like, oh, yeah, I have a sister. And she's even a twin. I'm like, could you be any four motherfucking obvious? The guy's girlfriend is the fucking sister. And you even see at the end, like, a month earlier... She went up to her brother, she, know who, she knew her brother was a killer, said, listen, my husband, my, I don't think they were husband, wife, boyfriend, my boyfriend's cheating on me, I want you to do your business onto him. Do it for me, because he's cheating on me. And you're a killer, and you're my brother, and I'm not going to turn you in. And that's what happens for 90 minutes of the movie. I mean, most of it is in this basement, as the towel suggests. I guess if you really get into the guy trying to do his best impression of the movie Split, with all these personalities, keep coming back to the girlfriend who's wooden as hell. Again, the guy goes through his personalities, and our lead guy keeps either playing along or begging to let me go, or I'm not a bad guy, I'm a good guy very heavy British accent. I'm like, is that your real accent? <laughs> also, when the guy tries to escape, and you want to shoot a fight between him and the killer, don't shoot in an epileptic light seizure with a blinking of lights. I'm not going to try it. I'll mess it up. But, a strobe light Epileptic strobe light effect. Okay, put your hand here. Now do this. Real quick. That's pretty much what you've seen. And blink, too. Like, you do a blink, but do it like this, too, because it's more discombobulated. Do this and blink. That's pretty much like the scene you're watching during this fight. And the guy stabs. I'm like, why did you stab in the leg? Stab in the neck. I'll wait till the guy comes back and then tch, stab him. Wait till the guy comes down the stairs and he's like, tch, around the corner, right in the neck. But no, an epileptic seizure warning happens. Guy gets tied up. Killer becomes the executioner. Blow torches his head off. I didn't, for safety reasons, the torch is a very fake looking effect. Burn to the guy's neck, head goes off. Then, one month earlier, again, the sh in case you didn't get it, 
the girlfriend was the tiller's sister. In case you didn't get it. I'm not in the torture porn. I'm not in the torture movies. Because it just... Especially if I don't care about the lead. The tiller... You know what? If this was Brad Dourif... Or a really solid actor... Doing his audition tape pretty much. Maybe. Maybe after you get into it. But this guy... I'll be nice. He was average at best. I'm not even going to say he was awful. I think he was average at best. This would be being nice. There's not much in talks of direction. There's not much in talks of script. Because that is all that happens. It's not tense. It's not suspenseful. It's not surprising. You see the twist coming. Does they clearly map it out for you? And the one piece I have is epileptic fight. Bad CG blowtorch. If you're doing it for gore and you're in a little bit of a teeth business, some fingers cut off. It's a little bit of sewing, surgery, and then that end bit. I mean, there's really nothing else to talk about. There's nothing else to say about the movie. Just, I, I if you're really into torture film, I mean, Hostel is better than this. Easily, Hostel is better than this. More stuff happens and is going on in Hostel. A lot of the Saw sequels, which I'm not only big on, not big on the Saw franchise, but almost any one of them is better than this. Even some of the lesser ones, there's more going on than this. So that's it. If you're going for torture porn, you're into that, there's even better choices with that. So the basement, stay in the basement. Get buried in the basement. And piss yourself. Surprise the tear didn't piss himself here while in the fucking chair. Surprise they didn't throw that in there. So yeah. Cheating bitch. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.